Dear non-asexual people if you were in a relationship with someone and they sat you down and said they are asexual, what would your reaction be? I've been on a date with an asexual guy. He told me one hour into the date. I had nothing but respect for straight up telling me. I said I want sex to be a part of a relationship, he respected my choice and we had a great date. We were friends for long after that. Wish them well, find someone who shares my interests. This actually happened to me. He was so much fun, that sex ultimately did not matter. We had eight years together before he went by search of new adventures, but we stayed friends until his death. I still miss him. This comment section is why I'm always upfront when a woman comes on to me. I've been there. College boyfriend after about a year of dating told me that he thought he was asexual. We had been having sex until then, and it made me feel awful thinking that he might have not wanted to the entire time. I felt bad making him do that. It was always consensual, but I was worried he only did it because he felt he had to. Note not all asexual people would do what this guy did be controlling manipulative. Some people can make a relationship without sex work, but this is what I personally did not want. I never shamed him for his lack of sexuality, but it made navigating the relationship more challenging. That relationship went on for at least another year, but ended up failing for a few reasons. I'm quite sexual, so that became a compatibility issue. We did not have sex thereafter. He was kind of a controlling person not because he is asexual. He would make me feel ashamed for getting turned on or, God forbid, masturbating. He also guilted me in staying with him despite the lack of any sexual compromise. He basically said that if I really loved him for him we would stay together. And I did love him a lot at the time, so that is why I stayed. I know now that sex is important to me, and really it is nice to be intimate with someone and to feel wanted in that way. I felt ugly for the longest time because any time I brought up this issue, I would either be rejected out or shamed for wanting anything sexual. We were both pretty young in this relationship. If I were in a relationship like this now, after some more relationship experience, I would have tried to have a clearer discussion about my needs. In all, I hope that if anyone else finds themselves in this situation e with a partner that realizes they're asexual, that you can have a serious conversation and decide if this is enough of a compatibility issue to stop seeing each other or make a compromise to match both of your needs. Edited for clarity. I'm not asexual, but for medical reasons I'm not able to have penetrative intercourse. People don't decide who they are and I wouldn't judge a relationship just on one thing. Well this is weird, this actually happened to me the other day. My partner came and told me she is asexual. We talked through what that meant to her and basically she is not anti-sex, in fact she enjoys it. She just has almost no independent interest in sex, and almost no attraction or sexual desire towards people. So after checking that she was still happy with the way things are and she wouldn't prefer some alternative arrangement we basically just agreed to continue as we have been throughout the relationship up to this point. It's boring I know, sorry added in fact it made me feel more free to pursue my own kinks and desires. Since sex is now something she mostly does because she wants to make me happy I feel less bad making it about my wants at it too clarified a bit some people are picking up on. I'm pretty late to this, but this actually happened to me. My current partner told me about 3-4 years into our relationship that she realized she might be asexual. She told me that she'd realized since we'd been together that she'd often used sex as validation or because she thought she was supposed to. She'd been coming to the realization for a long time before she told me and told me she was afraid of how I'd react. I'll preface my reaction by saying that we have never been monogamous, so things may have worked out differently if we were. I was not totally surprised. We tell each other everything, and I'd heard a lot about her previous partners. From what I gathered, I was her first long-term partner who wasn't abusive, pushy, or worse. I didn't feel like I disappointed her or turned her asexual in some way, I knew that she was telling me this because she felt comfortable that I wouldn't freak out or leave her. When we'd first started seeing each other I'd gone through a similar experience working up the courage to tell her I'm bi. The entire experience made us closer. That was years ago now, and we still very much love each other. We still have sex occasionally, but she's also fine if I seek it out elsewhere as long as I'm safe always and communicative to a fault. Coming out to a partner is always difficult, regardless of what your sexuality is or isn't. It's scary to think the person you love may feel differently about you afterward but it's better than living a lie and letting it eat away at you. Depends. If they're one of those asexuals who still likes sex but doesn't require it or pursue it then I'd be a bit disappointed, but if it's of the sex-repulsed variety where there's no sex ever I'd be inclined to pursue a relationship elsewhere because I don't want to commit to a sexless lifestyle. Edit apparently I started the typical discourse with my phrasing. 
Oof. I have several asexual friends and I know how much diversity there is under that label. So I'd ask them what that looks like for them, and how they feel about our relationship as it is. What needs to change, if anything? Figure out if it makes sense to continue the relationship or maybe transition to a friendship. There are a lot of possibilities out there for open-minded people. Ask for more details. Are they sex-repulsed or just disinterested? Would they be willing to watch me, or interact verbally? Do they like to still give pleasure to others, or only receive it, or are only certain kinds of touch okay? Can we kiss? Do we have to just stay above the belt? Are they okay with me masturbating and then we cuddle? Are they okay with me sleeping with someone else but then coming home to cuddle? After 18 months of trying to compromise and making each other miserable, we ended our nine-year marriage and sold the house we had built together. She couldn't comprehend me being able to have a physical relationship extra to the marriage, because it would have to involve some feelings and how could I do that and still love her. And I couldn't bear to put her through the ordeal of sex, or the betrayal of cheating. So, it ended our relationship. It doesn't have to be that way. I have great intimate snuggles with someone I don't have sex with, and great sex with people I care about but don't want to live with. I live alone and it works. Being happy is everything. Say what you want and what you can accommodate. Just don't give up what makes you tick because you are told you have to share your life with someone. I would ask them what asexual means. It would depend on if it was a new realization to them or something they had lied about. If it was a new realization I would be supportive and loving. Sex matters less and less as I age so I would certainly try to keep an intimate relationship while respecting their authentic self. If they had lied by not disclosing I would be out. My reaction was shock. We had been married for 14 years. Obviously something was up, and I had been trying to talk with them for years about it. We were in a dead bedroom situation for so long. After a lengthy bout of therapy, they finally told me. They were non-binary asexual. I took a few days to research and ask several questions. And we talked a lot. Learned they considered themselves asexual for many years and didn't tell me. In the end, we separated and divorced. Hardest thing I ever had to do. It's been four years. I'm now remarried to someone who isn't asexual and it's night and day difference. I know people change and you learn things in life. However, the hurt is that they knew for so long and didn't discuss or admit it. Just let a problem fester. I only wish that they would have been forthcoming. It wasn't like I wasn't trying to ask and understand. It might be shallow, but intimacy in bed is something I enjoy a lot. Not being able to do that would be a big deal breaker. Even if they gave me permission to play with others, not being able to do that stuff with my partner would be sad for me. I would most likely break off the relationship, but would still probably enjoy being good friends. I'd want to discuss it further with them to explore the details of it, but I'm open to a non-sexual but romantic relationship. I don't really require physical intimacy or sexual activity in my romantic relationships so I'm pretty okay with this but would like to discuss it further to see where the relationship can go. This kinds of posts and comments are exactly what made me realize I am in the asexual spectrum, because the thought of never having sex again but still being with the woman I love is absolutely okay for me. Honestly, at this point in my life I value deep emotional connections with people more than anything. You can still have a physical connection with someone without sex so I'd be supportive. I'm highly asexual and had a ton of sex with a lot of different people when younger trying to figure out why it was so hard to get any happiness out of it. It took asexuality becoming more mainstream to understand what was happening. For me, it's basically just nearly impossible to orgasm because I don't really care about the sex itself, although I can from pure stimulation if I can properly zone out and cut my brain off and focus on that which is too hard while trying to please someone else. So in a relationship, it just means I can have sex but last forever because I never orgasm except sometime with BJs because I can do the zone out thing. I've had trouble in relationships because some people get mad that they aren't really doing anything for me, but some don't care. This spectrum is all over the place, is the point. I suspect a lot of people are on it and don't realize it. I hope you all are doing well, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video. If you have something to say critically or otherwise, leave a comment. And if you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe to see more of it. I hope you all have wonderful and fulfilled lives.